Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you the feature and options of the Creative Sound Blaster Katana version 2 soundbar, so let's get started. So once you download the software, you see there are four options on the left side, the device, playback, recording, and setting. So once you are in the device one, you can see there are various options. First, we have the Super Rectify, which is an additional software by Creative to control headphones and support the products. Sound mode, in which you can change the sound mode for the sound bar for example here I have the effects off I can change it for example to gaming from here and once you go to sound mode you see it has changed some parameters such as surround uh, crystallizer to 60 and 40 and uh, also it has disabled the smart volume and dialog plus for example there are many known games such as uh, Cyberpunk 2077, Doom Eternal, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, The Witcher 3, etc. Also, there is a generic uh, genre such as RPG, uh, MOBA, FPS, uh, etc. So, I hope that uh, Creative will add more profile games in the future. And also, here you can see you can change the lighting for the profile as well and the decoder. So, once we are done with the sound mode, I can go to the exotic engine which is the same as this one so here it's completing by itself I can also manually adjust it and also in the equalizer also when you go to the crystal voice you can activate smart volume it will make you like be heard directly without having to shout or whisper so it will isolate noise as much as possible change the preset for the integrated microphone which come in the soundbar so you can change the bass harshness improve clarity so here if I select uh, another one improve clarity I can also switch the angle so here it's limiting the range of the microphone to you directly instead of taking uh, ambient uh, noise so it's a good feature and also here in the scout mode this one is designed to help you uh, for the FPS games such as uh, Battlefield and Call of Duty and you can also configure the hotkey here on the lighting you can change the lighting the RGB lighting uh, which are seven segments so you can change between different uh, motion such as morph uh, uh, wave uh, color cycle etc and you can also uh, change the speed, the direction, and if you want it to be musically active. Once we are done with the lighting, we can go to the decoder. Here you can change the decoder of the Dolby Digital Media. And uh, you can change it between normal, full, and night. So in the mixer, you can change the volume of the soundbar, the microphone. And here on the custom buttons, you can change the buttons on the, uh, the remote so there are custom buttons one for RGP and six custom buttons in which you can change for example the profile or activate scout mode the uh, mic monitoring and other commands as well so once we are done with the device we can go to the playback here you can change the audio quality of the speaker and also you can change the speaker to surround mode you can change the configuration from stereo to 5.1 surround and test uh, speakers and the woofer. So once we are done from here, we can go to the recording and also change the audio quality of the microphone. And once we are here in the settings, you can reset the device. You can check the firmware. You can go to the display and uh, change the main display of the soundbar from auto to bright to dark to off and also you can change the subwoofer volume from minus 10 to 6 and also you can change the energy saving option so once you enable the energy saving the device will enter a standby of no operation for like 30 minutes one hour etc and also you can activate the hdmi cc standby link and if you go to the application menu you can change the language, the appearance, to run it automatically when system starts. And also you can ch check uh, for the software update. And you can also toggle between headphone and speakers. And change the volume and microphone on the fly. So that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe if you found it to be useful. And see you in the next one.